Okay, I'm going to show you a quick little tutorial on Motorola Droid X wallpaper, <clears throat> changing it and whatnot. Most people know to get into the settings for the wallpaper, you do the menu button and go to wallpaper, and you have different modes: live, live wallpapers, media gallery, and the wallpapers that came default on the phone. But a lot of people want to know how to set it as an image from the internet. And there's two different ways you can do this. I'll show you first way on the phone which is the easiest way in your browser you'll want to just go to an image that you want to set as a wallpaper let's use this one here this looks nice for a resolution you'll want a widescreen that's larger than 800 tall because the screen's 854 tall I believe so let's go with this one 900 and we'll download that didn't quite get it. Let's go into the main page on that wallpaper. Let's try this again. 900. 1440 by 900. It, it varies. You can get whatever resolution you want and then you can adjust it. I'll show you in a second. So download that. Which will open up the full resolution of that image. So we want this as our wallpaper. So you'll you'll push and hold. It'll pop up. You want to do save image. And then as you see it'll download at the bottom. This image is 1.13 megs. Done downloading. Now when you go back and go into your wallpaper, you want to go to media gallery. I always just go to all photos, browse through and find it. There's the one that we just got. Now this is kind of confusing for some people. The um, the screen is rectangular, but when it wants to set a wallpaper, it wants you to size it as a square. And people want to know, is that going to stretch it? Why is it doing that? And the reason is, because after you set it, <coughs> you'll notice that the wallpaper doesn't distort. But the wallpaper is a square, because when you go from menu to menu, the wallpaper goes with it. So it is, your entire background is square, not just here. And that's why it wants you to set the background as a square instead of the rectangular screen there. But you, you set the middle to what you want to be on the home screen, and then you'll go left and right through that image. Okay, the other way on the computer same page. Let's go with... We'll go with this one. We'll do the same resolution. Larger than 854 tall. It's 1440 by 900. Download that. And I always just save this image to my desktop. Okay, I have it right here. Nope. Nope. Screw that one up. Let's try that again. Delete that. I save image as on the desktop. And figure out where it hit it. Where'd it go? there because there it is. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, right here in the middle, in the lake. There it is. This is what we want to set as our wallpaper. Now, what we'll do on the phone is change our USB connection mode to USB mass storage, which will open up our, US, our uh, memory card from the phone on the computer. go to your directory called download. This will be the other images that you've downloaded to your phone, like that one that we just set. There's the one that we just set as wallpaper on the phone. And just drag it in there, drop, let it do its thing. You can close out of that. Back on the phone, you'll want to switch back to charge only so that the phone will have access to the memory card. 
and when you go into your wallpaper settings all photos and it's right there same thing set whatever you want uh, kind of like that save And there you have it. That's how you set the wallpaper on your Droid X through the computer or through your mobile browser.